And I will give you some examples of EM and nature farming. In Japan, the International Nature Farming Research Center, which is promoting nature farming with EM, they are now accredited to the Japanese organic agriculture movement to certify organic farms. And they are doing this. Thailand, some of you have been to Sarabore, which uses nature farming principles of organic farming with EM. In Myanmar, a large amount of EM is used because Myanmar government cannot afford fertilizer, chemical fertilizer. So the objective is to use organics and to promote uh, using EM. And this is a government state sponsored project. Indonesia, there's a very good EM and nature farming program in the island of Bali. If you are going on a holiday to Bali, don't look at the beaches alone. Please contact Mike. He will give you directions of go to see this nature farming training center. It's, it's really, really, it's worth it. This is in the Lao PDR or the De People's Democratic Republic of Laos, next to Thailand. The nature farming program started seven, about seven years ago, and today there's an organic market by using these products. And it's very popular in the capital of Laos, Vientiane. And people, it, the project is doing very well today. In Bhutan, you know the country, don't you? Stuck in the Himalayas. It's very difficult to get there. Because there's only one airline flying in, and that's the Bhutan Airlines. And if you want to go there as a tourist, you have to spend at least $250 US a day. If not, they will not allow you into the country. And you can't go as a tourist into the country individually. You have to go as a group. And the money has to be deposited in front. Then you get the visa. Otherwise, there's no visa. And they are promoting organic agriculture. Because Bhutan is at the, tip of, at the base of the Himalayas. They are really into trying to promote natural products. And then, the best way the Minister of Agriculture there wanted EM to be part of their school agriculture projects. So that the children will, the next generation would know how to utilize the depleting organic matter more effectively. And the school agriculture program is doing well in Bhutan. Cambodia, a good program is on in use done by a, a German non-government organization. They are promoting the and they are having a lot of programs on nature farming and big EM technology in Cambodia. In my country, Home Garden, it's a big program going on with promoting organic or low input system with EM technology. India, if you go to Auroville, which is in southern India, in Pondicherry, where the temperatures can go up to 40 degrees or 45 degrees sometimes, they do use EM and it is a training center for their activity. We have EM programs in Europe, right? Almost all the countries in Europe, USA, Latin America, Brazil, Africa, South Africa, Angola, and now we have moved up even into places like Saudi Arabia, Israel, Iran, for agriculture and more for water purification. 